Manscaped has the men's grooming market down pat. Their Lawnmower 4.0 is the most revolutionary body hair trimmer on the market. They also have amazing products like their Crop Reviver, their Crop Preserver. They have a new body wash. They have a new shampoo and conditioner. They have a nose and ear hair trimmer. They have a cologne. Manscaped is really the one-stop shop for all your men's grooming needs. So go to manscaped.com and use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. So how did you get into the industry then? I've never really talked about this publicly before, um, so I'm a little nervous, but I feel like I want to, you know, tell people because it's my truth, it's part of my story and why I am who I am. Um, But when I was 18, so probably like two weeks after I turned 18, I was working at American Apparel Mm -hmm. and I hated that job and I didn't want that job, but I also wasn't going to college. I already knew at that point because um, the way I, I'm just not a college girl. Like I'm just not, it's not for me. Sometimes you just know. And you know what? (laughs) There's a lot of people who are going to college, getting themselves into serious student loan debt and and then then coming out of college and not getting the jobs they wanted having nothing, or finding that they didn't need to go to college to even pursue the career they end up pursuing. So the idea of going to college is becoming like less and less of an, of a thing now, you know? So I I don't think you should feel ashamed of that. I'm not, I'm definitely not ashamed, especially considering my current circumstances. It's worked out well, but, um, so I didn't want to work there anymore. So I started looking on Craigslist for different types of jobs, um, that I might want to do. And I found one job that it was like webcamming, mm-hmm. like sign up to be a webcam model. You can make like a thousand dollars a week or something like that. And I mm-hmm. said, that sounds pretty fucking good. So I messaged the guy who posted the ad and he said, Oh, I'll pick you up and we can talk about it. So he picked me up and uh, you know, he had a really nice car. He had like a Gucci wallet and all these nice things about him. So I thought, you know, this guy, like he has money. money yeah. So clearly this stuff works. And he took me to a hotel and uh, he had a computer and he was showing me my free cams, mm-hmm. which is the website that I started camming on. And he, I had a shift later that day at like five Mm o'clock and he was telling me like, you can make so much money doing this. Like you can become huge. Like webcamming is the new porn. Like nobody's doing porn anymore. Like everybody watches cam girls Mm -hmm. and I knew nothing about it. I had never heard of camming. I never heard of my free cams because you know, I was underage a couple Mm -hmm. weeks before, Mm -hmm. but I thought it sounded amazing. And I said, you know, I'm personable. I can definitely do this. So I need to make a decision right now whether I'm going to leave this guy and go to work and just forget this whole thing or I'm going to call out or quit my job and start camming and just see where it takes me. Because at that point I had... Like start right then? Not at that exact moment, but like that would be the beginning of like my journey. Okay. Um, And I... I had nothing going for me at the time. Like, I knew I wasn't going to school. I felt lost. Um, My mental health was not the best. Um, So I said, you know, fuck it. I called my work, and I said I'm not coming in. I quit. I didn't even give two weeks, which was a move, but whatever. Um, And then I started camming. So this guy, he basically, what he just, like, showed me to be camming was that I would do he apparently owned like a studio like a cam studio and a lot of other girls like cammed under him right um and he would provide like the resources like a place to work and you know stuff that you needed and blah 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 and mentorship and all this stuff and he apparently worked in the adult industry for a long time and you know all this stuff and I was naive Mm -hmm. clearly um and I think like I was almost in denial of like what the situation really was and I just wanted it so bad to be Mm -hmm. like you know my way of not having to work at this shitty job and my way of being successful at something and And independent yeah and and independent and being happy because I already like felt pressure to move out like you know my parents they said like you don't have to move out yet you're fine but 
you know, you you feel like a burden. Like yeah. at 18 is usually when people go to school and then they're yeah. not living at home. So I definitely felt like uncomfortable at home. But so I started camming and slowly over the next couple of months with that guy's mentor mentorship, I say it very loosely, mm. I started to realize that the situation was not what I thought it was at all. Um, this studio that he had was not really like, I don't think it was anything to this day. I don't really know like what it was, but to make a long story short, he wasn't really like who he said he was. I don't Mm -hmm. think he lied about a lot of things like his name. And I told like, he knew everything about me. He knew cause he, he didn't have my bank info, but my payments, like my earnings from my free cams would go to his studio account and then he would take the money out and give it to me. Uh-huh. But I didn't like, I didn't have direct connection to my money. Uh-huh. And over time, like he stopped mentioning like the studio and all these other things. Like he was just talking about his own projects and not really talking about my camming anymore, but we still talked and, you know, and he was taking a percentage of your money? He says no, but I do not know. I feel like the answer is yes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, over time, the relationship became less and less professional, like mm-hmm. a mentorship and very personal and mm-hmm. more like a romantic relationship that I never really consented to or wanted to be in. But. Mm-hmm. He had kind of like made me feel like, you know, I couldn't succeed in this industry without his help. And Mm. at this point I was way too deep in and I couldn't just leave adult and just go back to my regular life because I didn't have a regular life. Right. It's like this was the, the very beginning of my adult life. Right. So I felt like very desperate and he didn't threaten me, but he just very heavily implied that I didn't really have any other options. Um, and then in September that summer, he started getting really distant and just not talking to me anymore. And he would pay me less and less frequently. Like I had to reach out a lot of times just to get paid. And I was getting so tired of it. My anxiety was just like at an all time high. And I was like, you know, I don't deserve to feel this way. And then in September of 2017, I lost my grandma to a suicide. Oh, God. Yeah. It it was a lot in that moment to deal with, like, that guy being on my mind and then this. Um, And then at the end of that month, um, he hadn't been paying me, so I contacted my free cams and said, look, I need my own account because this guy's not giving me my money, and Mm -hmm. every time I cam, I can't get the money. So they said, okay, we we." made you your own independent account. And then at the end of that month, he called me and was saying, you know, like, you shouldn't have messed with my money. Like, they closed the account. And I said, look, I didn't ask him to close your account. I just asked for mine because you said a lot of things that ended up not being true. And, you know, he made some... And he wasn't paying you. No, he wasn't giving me the money at that point. Like, he wasn't... I wasn't seeing him, so I was camming less and less, and I felt like a degenerate. Yeah. And, like, I'm... I'm almost 19. I don't want to live in my parents' house anymore doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Um, And so he, you know, he gave some implied threats, but he didn't actually threaten, outright threaten me. But he said, like, oh, this constitutes as beef. Like, we have problems now. Like, send me the the emails that you had with them back and forth. And I just hung up and I blocked his number. And I never spoke to him again. I never heard from him again. But... For a while, I had really bad anxiety that he would just show up at my house, and it took me a long time. You probably felt really, like, manipulated and betrayed, too. I can't even describe how manipulated I felt. And then not until, like, March of 2018 did I start identifying what happened as, like, trafficking Because Mm. I realized, like, that is what it is. I was a naive 18-year-old girl, barely 18. I had no idea how the sex industry worked or webcamming. I didn't even know what that was. And I was coerced into doing something that I didn't really know anything about based on false pretenses. Mm -hmm. And when it involves sex work, that's trafficking. Right. So it's taken me a really long time to, like you know, come to terms with that and be okay with how that is the beginning of my journey. But Mm -hmm. it's 
not what defines me. Um, and how far I've gotten in the porn industry is only on my own. Right. Nobody has helped me besides like my agents, obviously, but nobody, no outside figure has like helped me or promoted me to get where I am in porn. And that is something that like really that I love Mm -hmm. and that makes me feel so good about myself because it is like a really low blow to find out that you wasted so much time doing something with someone that didn't have your best interest in mind. Mm -hmm. It it sucks. I'm not going to lie, but it's definitely made me like a stronger, smarter person. Yeah. Manscaped has the men's grooming market down pat. Their Lawnmower 4.0 is the most revolutionary body hair trimmer on the market. They've also just launched their shampoo and conditioner, which is designed to help hydrate, nourish, and keep the hair that you want to keep on your head staying strong. Manscaped is really the one-stop shop for all your men's grooming needs. So go to manscaped.com and use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. 